hi and welcome to my channel um today i just want to talk about online dating because i've actually done online dating before and i actually enjoyed it um and my you know if i was asked the question should i online date i would say absolutely um basically when you online date just make sure that you are not too attached to the outcome because um, if you are, you will be disappointed a lot, a lot. And so I would say like online dating is not for the faint hearted. It is not, uh, something that, um, will always turn out the way you want it to be, but it can produce amazing results. So I was married previously, like for eight years, got divorced. And then I spent 10 years, um, single because I wanted to raise my daughter and because I didn't actually want to bring another, like a male into my home at the time. She was young. I just felt that I needed to focus on her and to also focus on my own healing and my own growth. So I got to the point where I actually didn't really think I wanted to, to date or anything. But there was one day when I was with work and I just thought, you know, my daughter was now going out with her friends. She was about 16, 15, 16. She was just like a lot more independent, obviously more vocal and telling me things that it didn't suit her. And I just thought, you know what, I think I'm just going to start dating. It was just a sudden thought, but I had no idea or clue where to start. And slowly but surely, I started looking into online dating and I made a lot of mistakes. I made and I got a lot of shock because I hadn't been in the dating game for 18 years, like proper 18 years. So uh, times had moved on. People were dating online. And I learned a lot through that time um, of online dating, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I think the first thing I did, I remember talking to a friend of mine and we started doing the online dating together at one of the ladies I worked with. And... Um, unfortunately or whatever i went to uh, one of the worst sites that i personally feel was for me i started with a, a, a dating website called plenty of fish so now don't get me wrong everybody can find anyone anywhere you know um but i just found that too um too much for me it, it just was just a lot of uh men just in your inbox saying a whole lot of nonsense um although my friend uh, a friend of mine actually married the man she met on plenty of fish so it can happen both ways you might find someone on a one side and you might not find i know people are different and it might be your luck but there's one thing that i did realize that a lot of those people who are on one website are also on all the others majority of them I soon realized that Plan of Fish was not for me. I couldn't deal with the influx of the kind of men that were on there. And I just didn't like it. I didn't, you know, and I could never get through to them. So I never went on any dates on there. I also went, I decided to try um, eHarmony. So eHarmony's concept was great. However, it I felt like it wasn't giving me enough um, people within my area and it was like you can like go global but i was not looking for long distance relationships i'm not good with that kind of thing i didn't want to wait for someone for years before we could meet i i just it just wasn't me um i did however meet my first day uh, on eHarmony he was 10 years younger than me not ready for a relationship but i dated him for a good eight months and that was a good thing for me because it kind of opened my eyes to the types of people and how people are in relationships. And it was a quite a stressful relationship, if I must be honest with you. But while I was, you know, trying to figure it out, I realized that, no, this is not going to work. And I finally broke it off. And then I went on to uh, Match.com, which brought me better results. And I think sometimes paying sites are a little bit better. Match was good. I met quite a few men there who were serious, who were looking for what we were looking for. However, the dates on there never seemed to stick. I don't know. Just, it just like we would go. And I, I had, there was a pattern with me. You'd probably go one or two days. And by the third day, probably nothing. So you kind of think, okay, what was this person actually looking for? Why would we go for all those three dates? And it kind of happened quite a bit. And then I got to the point where I was like, I don't know whether I want to keep on on match.com because 
I'm still getting like DMs that I don't want and I didn't like it. Then um, I heard about Tinder and people say Tinder's awful and Tinder's this and Tinder's that. But I remember trying it for the first time and I did get quite frightened because of all the, you know, at the beginning and I took myself off it. Well, then I became a little bit more bold and I decided, let me just try it. But the thing I liked about Tinder was the fact that obviously now it's probably different because that was eight years later was the fact that I could um, swipe and nobody could enter my, you know, my messagings unless I we matched. And that was nice because then I started to be able to choose who I wanted. And I really liked Tinder for that. Uh, and I did a lot of swiping. So on average, I would say that if you're going to start going on online dating, you should give yourself at least a year and a bit to actually meet someone. And I know that sounds weird, but maybe some people meet people in a few months, but that did not happen for me. Um, it was consistency and just, I think the whole experience of online dating managed to change a lot about me and what I understood about dating and why, and why I felt like uh, I learned a lot, especially through Tinder, especially Tinder. And, you know, people say, oh, I mean, swiping, I never get. And maybe, but I think I learned a lot um, on Tinder. I learned a lot. And one of the lessons I learned was that the more I swiped and the more I read people's profile and the more I started to see, like, from pictures to, you know, what people said, I started to choose differently. Um, but at the beginning, I wasn't like that. At the beginning, I'll look at someone like, oh, he's nice. Let's miss why we, we talk. And then from the talking, I'd see whether or not this person was continue, you know, worth continuing. So I think personally, I liked Tinder. Obviously, you may agree with that. I met my partner. I'm now with eight years on Tinder. And I'd met a man previous on Tinder, who was really lovely, but I didn't think that we were going to work out. So it was not um, a bad place to meet. And I realized as well that um, the more I spent on it, the more I talked to people, the more I started to understand and see. You, you do get a wisdom and a knowledge of what kind of people they are. So I'll probably give you a few tips of what I think worked for me so when i started out i made quite a few mistakes by not really reading into people's uh, profiles and um wasting a lot of time with a, a lot of exchanges that never went anywhere as time went on i started to change that and i gave the person at least uh, three four five maybe exchanges and if that exchange didn't go to anything like you want to grab a coffee you know because the whole point of me dating was to get off off um you know online and to go and meet you in person because i i wanted a relationship so um i started to weed out people who just wanted conversations you know just to bide their time because a lot of men and women i suppose do that and you can kind of tell by, you know, two, three, four, five, you know, swap it swaps and you like, okay. And, and, and they will usually use like, how are you doing? Like with short versions is H U, you know, whatever, you know, not pro putting proper spellings, um, like lazy texting and it's like low effort m males. I'm talking from a woman's perspective those men i just will not continue to uh talk to i just remove them and get rid because not only are they wasting my time is they're just bored you know they're bored and i didn't need that and i quickly started to like weed through that and that helped me a lot because then i started to um talk to people who really wanted to talk and you will see the ones who are more um want to talk and i also chose people who are more in my age group i never enjoyed like the younger because i just felt like they were not serious anyway um they're looking for a quick chat or whatever they're looking for 
um, and basically um, pictures as well. Although it's not always the case, but I didn't really enjoy like I never used to understand why a lot of them were carrying fish in their pictures and I just swiped it just used to uh, irritate me and then people with their shirts off I, I just found that also quite annoying uh people who stand in groups and you don't know which one it is I mean <laughs> what and if the guy is not so if you talk so I used to say so if I talk to you first day okay fine we're chatting and knowing about each other you know but not too much in depth in, you know, in depth and then we go to um like let's start making plans to meet because for me that is quite crucial because a lot of people you see online do nothing like they do in real life and it's quite a shocker and the sooner you found out find out the better because that's why people who get catfished or whatever feel really devastated because they've you know and that's another thing. If people don't want to meet you up, you got to ask yourself why. And don't even entertain it or waste your time with that. Just don't. Because the person's either lying, the picture's not true or something, you know, along the lines. It's true. It is a, it is a truth. Some people maybe not, but I do. I never had the patience to wait for someone to decide when they want to meet me. And I would, if the person's not asking me, I'll say, oh, you want to meet up? And if they don't want, then I would just remove them because i found that there's a lot of time wasters on the inter on, on you know on dating online so i did go on a lot of dates um and the mature they were that's not, not always the case the better i was at you know going on these um and dates and a lot of them males who were serious would ask you quite quickly uh that's the thing they would ask you out in like a few exchanges and I think that's quite important because a lot of them that I met, it didn't, you know, even though I thought, oh, they look nice. When we met, their conversation wasn't as good as it was online. And you, you people are so different when they're online and when they're not online. So I think I'll just stop there today because I have a quite a lot more to talk about when it comes to online dating. And... I'll tell you, I can tell you my story of how I finally got to meet somebody. And it, like I said, it takes a lot of patience and you've got to give yourself a long time and not expect to meet someone right away. And the first person you meet and you think you gel with is usually not because I think you also need to be at a certain level of awareness. You know, if you were there, you meet the right person. If you're not, you won't. That's how it was for me. You know, until I started finding awareness and started swiping up quickly on people who made no, you know, who were a waste of time, who just wanted to chat and talk and stuff like that. It took me a while to get to that stage, but then I started to think, no, that's not what do I want? You know, that's why when you have your more of your awareness, like what do I want? What do I want to achieve out of this? Then you stop entertaining things that you don't want. And, and that's key. You stop entertaining things you don't want. So next time, I'll probably give you like key things to look out for when you're dating and things not to accept and things to uh, just be aware of and how to meet up safely, you know, because that I had to do as well. I never had any trouble uh, with anyone. Um, so until next time. Bye for now, guys.